why build a houseboat? Um, good question. It wasn't really about a massive dream to live on the water or anything like that. Uh, I got rid of my one bed in London and wanted to be able to have somewhere that was still commutable but felt in the countryside. And to do that in the time frame, uh, I decided to just be a bit more innovative about how to spend my money. And that meant breaking all the property rules, essentially. And the short answer ended up being building a floating home or a houseboat, which I lucked out with because it's incredible. I met a friend of mine who had done something kind of similar with a boat. I was just like, oh, I'm not sure about that. And then I saw it and I was like, actually, this makes a hell of a lot of sense certainly kind of a journey of discovery. I project managed the whole thing. From the outside, it's generally sort of how long, how wide, what sort of front and back do you want? But then you can start to really sort of play around with everything from um, what sort of uh, interior walls you want, what kind of ceiling, where do you want the lights, uh, where do you want the windows, what windows do you want, where do you want the walls? And balancing it. I had not really thought about, obviously it floats, <laughs> which is an obvious thing to say, but when you're designing how many tiles you have to have in a kitchen to offset concrete work surfaces, then I had to think about how much does each tile weigh, how much does each copper pipe weigh, and so yeah, it was, um, I learnt a lot. They'd never built a king-size bed on a boat before, let alone one pushed into the end, um, the hull of the boat. Uh, as far as it is, so they were a bit like, it can't be done. I was like, of course it can. Like, no, it can't. I was like, yes, it can. <laughs> Look at my drawings. <laughs> of course it can be done. <laughs> I get woken up. I don't need to set an alarm. I get woken up by <laughs> the geese and the ducks every morning. And you only have to really look out the window to see that you're surrounded by the antithesis of London, which is exactly what I wanted. It's called Maybe Tomorrow because one of my longest standing nicknames, of which I have many, is The Littlest Hobo. I don't know if you remember that programme. Uh, mainly because I never stay in one place for very long, so I was given this nickname by um, a creative partner. And the theme tune to that was Maybe Tomorrow, um, I'll want to settle down, but until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on. And it felt very apt uh, to take Maybe Tomorrow as the name for a boat that can obviously move around and, and move on. I hadn't realised how apt it was until I built it, and I get a lot of laughs now because, again, in, in boat life it's like, yeah, 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 maybe tomorrow, and I'm like, how about now? <laughs> but you kind of get used to it. I think it probably breaks a few norms, which was the point. Why be like everyone else? <laughs> Maybe tomorrow I want to settle down Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving